everyone we are back Woo! i am tired ah okay first of all we have 30 dozen eggs in this box i bought from the chef store i was going to buy them at aldi i was going to buy about 12 dozen but these came out cheaper per dozen um these were 62 cents a dozen versus the 99 cents they are at aldi this week so it just made sense to go ahead and buy all of these. Um, so that's the first thing. Okay, this is next. Um, well, okay, all right. I'm probably going to miss some things here, but here we go. And then I'll tell you how much um, everything was once I get through everything. Okay, so I bought eight cans of oysters. And I might miss some things here. I bought some tomato paste and um, spaghetti sauce. I like to take the spaghetti sauce and mix it with some tomato paste to make it a little bit thicker and add my own seasonings to it. Sometimes I even add some diced tomatoes to it. And uh, we use it for spaghetti sauce, pizza sauce, whatever. Um, diced tomatoes. Mixed vegetables. I'm going to be making... Um, some, I believe I have on the menu to make some vegetable soup, and also I think I have on the menu to make some chicken pot pie. More mixed vegetables. Uh, a big can of mushrooms. It was cheaper to buy it this way, and I can split it up and freeze it. Four cans of cream of mushroom, four cans of cream of chicken, eight cans of green beans, eight cans of corn. I think I got eight cans of the spaghetti sauce. It's cheapest at Walmart. Okay. I, okay, yeah, I just got one bag. I was thinking I got two, but I just got one bag of these tortilla chips. As you know, we make ours at home sometimes. One bag of self rising flour, one bag of AP flour, two bags of sugar, five canisters of chips, two cases of ramen noodles, Four gallons of milk. One of them is over there because it busted, so I'll have to put it in another container, and we have to consume that first. Um, some garlic. I think I got two of these. Mayonnaise. Three canisters of a sugar-free um, drink mix. Peanut butter. I got two of these. The other one's over there. Some egg noodles. Now, like I said, we're going to have a pasta a pasta day, a rice day, a um, potato day, and a beans day. We have plenty of dry beans. But um, let's see. This will be for pasta one week or two weeks. And then elbow macaroni and spaghetti for two more nights. And this is for the fourth night for the week. And that's what we're having tonight, by the way. Uh, okay. Okay. Um, Five pounds of mozzarella cheese, five pounds of cheddar cheese, and 25 pounds of rice. That came out to 20-something cents a pound, so that's really good price. Now, they did have a 50-pound bag of rice I'm going to look at next time that I think will be even a better price, but this was pretty good. Some sausage. Uh, this is for hot dog night. We're going to have a hot dog night one night. Um, some pork sausage two things of that. Strawberries. I'm not going to freeze any of these. We're going to eat them fresh. This goes over there. Uh, only one bunch of bananas because we have some over from last week that I have to use. Oh, and this goes over there. I've already told you about that. Um, and I guess I'm going to be making banana bread with the bananas from last week because no one will eat them that ripe except for me and I can't eat that many bananas at once. Some celery, two bags of, wait, two bags of oranges, one package of romaine lettuce, um, tomatoes. I actually had to throw some of these out last week from Aldi. Um, their fruit seems to go pretty quickly there. They're fruit and vegetables, so you have to be precautious. They are good deals, but then again, they go out pretty quick. I remember my grapefruit this week. I, I missed the grapefruit this past week. They had this tea at Walmart for $1, so um, they are the small bags, and we need the family size, but I don't mind opening more bags to save money, so hopefully it's pretty good. 
They had their chicken on sale for $1.49 this week at Aldi, so I got two of the long packs. And as soon as this video is over with, I'm going to start cooking some of this for, um, I don't know, I might cook all of it up. I need some of it for chicken soup for when we have it for lunches. And I know I need it for chicken pot pie. Anyway, I need to look at that. There's the other thing of sugar-free um, gelatin. Here's the popcorn that I missed the other night whenever I was wanting some. Some, um, I guess we call this government cheese, the, um, processed bad for you slice stuff here um four packs of although i thought i got five maybe i only got three i don't know some tortillas jelly more peanut butter ranch dressing uh, canola oil mustard ketchup corn flakes because it's the cheapest four loaves of bread one is smashed Four packs of hot dog buns for when we have hot dog night. Some saltine crackers. A five pound container of sour cream. And what I like about this is it's just like um, Daisy brand. What you see here is just cultured cream enzyme. And that's it. No fillers like what is in most sour cream. So it's pure just like Daisy sour cream but a lot cheaper. So I was very happy for that. We got that at the chef store. Cottage cheese. And did you know that the full fat cottage cheese has less carbs in it than the reduced fat? That, that happens a whole lot with um, your carb intake. So that's always good to look at. And it's not fat that makes you fat. It's sugar that makes you fat. Anyway, um, pepperoni. Only two things of butter because I was not happy with the prices anywhere. Now, that's all of the food stuff. I'm going to show you, no, 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 it's not. We have some, a 50-pound bag of potatoes. And now I think that's all of the food stuff. But I am going to show you this. Um, oh, let's see. I'm hoping I have everything for the house for this month. I might have to get some dishwasher detergent, but we will see. Of course, this is non-food, so it's not counted in the food budget, but I just, it's here, so I just thought I would show it. A pack of maxi pads, and these right here, all of the shampoos and conditioners and um, hair treatment packs, these were 98 cents each. Yes, my friends, can you believe it? Um, the lady was actually stocking the shelf, and she said to you, well, did you use L'Oreal shampoo? I said, well, I, sometimes I do. I was thinking if it's a good price. She said, well, these are 98 cents each if you'd like some. I was like, why, yes, I think I will. And so we got quite a few of those. That's like the deal of the day. Okay, um, some deodorant for one of the girls, and then deodorant for the fellas. And, um, well, for two of the fellows, one of them, he buys this stuff. And then some toothpaste. Hopefully this will last a month. And then two packs of toilet tissue. I know it's not the most luxurious toilet tissue to use, but it is the cheapest. And, um, so I'm hoping that will last for the full month too. Um, seems like I'm missing something. Maybe not. Okay, so, like I said, we went to three places, and I went ahead and took out for the non-food, but here is the all-day receipt, if anyone is interested in seeing the prices. What was a real bummer is $2.09. I was pretty happy with that price for their milk, but then I go to Walmart, and they have milk for $1.92 a gallon. <sighs> can't win them all okay so it was 129.09 but then I bought the toilet tissue there so it brought it down to 116.70 after I took that out so that's for food 116.70 okay this is the chef store there's the rice the eggs cheese 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 Potatoes, she had a hard time ringing up the right price for the potatoes, but they were $12.48 for 50 pounds. So this was $90.45. 
And here we are with Walmart. And I took out for all of these shampoos. It says holiday packs. It doesn't say anything about that on the, the packs. But anyway, apparently that's why they were on clearance. And then I took out for the toothpaste, the maxi pads, and the deodorant. So after I took that out, it was um, minus $29.01. So it came to $50.00. And 98 cents because it was 79.99 and then 50.98 after that so for all of that I totaled it up okay something else I have to tell you all of this together for today was 258.13 but our Dollar General still had those um, meat patties the hamburger patties on sale for basically four dollars for two pounds and they are quarter pound patties, so there's eight in each one. And so we picked up ten more. Yep, because we've had them several times. I've used them in spaghetti and all. I just, I could thaw them and brown them up that way, but I actually put them in the oven.